Hello Green Dream Car Garage. This is the first uh, new video I've put, I'm going to be putting forward for the first time in ages. I mean, basically, we, this is just a, 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 an update on the FT project. Now we brought it back to Manchester about almost a year ago. This almost has died last year, but these things just cost money. Anyway, I've got something new. I've got some rear seats for the Fortrack. Now they're like fold out Land Rover Defender seats that sit above the wheel arch and fold away. And when the interior is all new with leather and this, that and the other, these will, these will look just nice in the back. So they've just arrived. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take them out and you can have a look at them. I'll talk a little bit about how they're going to fit. And hopefully over the next few weeks, we'll significantly move the project forward. So here they are. They're like Exmoor trim seats. They're already trimmed in um, like a black leather. Which to you, I think I might just leave these trimmed as they are because the interior may be a mixture of black and Alcantara. Now, they're designed to fold, and then as you look, that's actually the right hand side one, so I'll put it on the right to make it easier. Right, so as they fold, you can see there's a hinge here. There's a hinge here. Let's try and get a better view. And that hinge there, that sits on in a Range Rover, sorry, a Land Rover Defender. That sits on the box, the square wheel arches. So it folds out into an upright position like that. Uh, and then that would sit on the right hand wheel arch. So let's see if we can simulate what this looks like. So I'm going to pull back and then see if we can set it up so it's like on a box so you get an idea what it looks like and how it would fold away. It looks slightly screwy because we've just got it balanced up on a couple of boxes. But what we have is a seat that folds out. We have a leg that will support on the, that would be the left hand side. That would be, the, and this would be the, if it's facing forward. This would be, that would be the equivalent to the right side box wheel arch. Uh, so the hinge there would attach to the corner and then the seat would fold like this and then it would fold up onto the wheel arch. So it will fold down then up onto the wheel arch. So I think that will be pretty cool inside the FT because what I'll do it will allow you to have two full size comfortable seats in the back but also two that could fold up and out of the way and leave quite a decent load area in the back. So these are pretty cool. Let's see if we can fold one up and see what it looks like folded. Okay, that's a halfway fold. Now I'm going to fold it up again so it sits on the wheel arch. So this is it sitting on the wheel arch, as you can see, this would be, it'd be facing this way. So you'd have one on the wheel arch there, the other one will be, if it was in the car, folded up on the wheel arch there, so we'll have all that space in the middle at the back of our car and fold it out, you'd fold out, the legs will kick out again. So you've got two decent size uh, usable adult size seats in, in the back, neatly, neatly stored above the wheel arch. A little bit of fabrication required because like I said the wheel arch isn't square on the four track. Uh, one other thing, the underside is bra is sort of just the bare wood there. Uh, they're going to spray that or recover the bottom side so that it matches the top side so when you see it up it looks good from underneath as well as above. Um, and that's and that's that with these chairs. These chairs are uh, Exmoor, Exmoor trim seats uh, they'd cost about three fifty four hundred pounds maybe maybe from the Exmoor trim site. Kind of cool because they give you a full size seat, um, but they fold away neatly, leaving us with good storage space. Now, all right, so we're about uh, this is coming up to almost three years since we started this project. Now, a project like this wouldn't normally take anywhere near this long, but sometimes finances dictate. Um, but I'm going to try and accelerate this project to a natural com completion. I, I thought about giving it up quite a few times over the last couple of years as finances have got a little bit tight here and there. But I'm glad I've, pers I've persevered. So this is what needs to be done. We need to get some wheels. They're about £1,000 with tyres. Uh, maybe a little bit more, about £1,200. Uh, our, our interior is going to be uh, soundproof and re-trimmed. Got all the electrics working. 
uh, as you get some daytime running lights for the front bumper, a little bit of a, a, a side step, a little bit of wrap. I want to get uh, the, the, the car wrapped a little bit with some, a little bit of, not too much, a little bit of black on the roof maybe to give it a little bit of a modern twist. I've got an idea behind that, but still keeping the, the look and feel of the original car. Um, one to our bits and pieces, good service, and hopefully, um, we with a bit of luck and prayer, we can have this thing on the road before summer really kicks in. So stay tuned, and I'll let you know how we go. I'm going to post this video in the next few days or so. Um, stay tuned for some more. Take care. Bye.